Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a thrift haul for you from the Goodwill outlet. I went thrifting yesterday and got probably like 15 to 20 items. I spent a little over $25, so each item came out to a little under $2 each. I got some good stuff, a few brands that I really love to resell and a couple pieces that I was very excited about. One in particular, which if you saw the title of this video, then you know that I found the cardigan from the Taylor Swift album release. So this is a very exciting one. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, thank you. I found this cardigan and at first I didn't really know if it was anything exciting. Um, it says folklore album on it. So that was like my one giveaway that, okay, I know the Taylor Swift album that came out like last year was called Folklore. So I thought maybe it would be Taylor Swift related. Um, it didn't have any tag or anything like that, so I wasn't totally sure, but I threw it in my cart and just kind of like checked in on it to see, um, if it was anything good. So this cardigan is the one that was released when the album was released, and I think it was based on my, like, the research I did about it, because I had no idea about it at all. It said it was only available for like 36 hours, so there is a super limited number of these, and I checked eBay, obviously, and these cardigans are selling for like 200 plus dollars and the sold comps are all really recent too like some sold yesterday the day before like all throughout august these are all super recent i'm just super excited this was such a gem of a find and if i were like a swifty or whatever like a taylor swift super fan i would have been like beyond excited to find this cardigan for two dollars essentially but I'm gonna resell it because I am a reseller so I'm gonna put it up on eBay I'm probably gonna do like a bidding situation because I kind of just want to like leave it up there for a few few days and let people bid on it because um, I'm not really even sure what to price it at and yeah I just could not believe it this was one of those times that like when you're thrifting and you find that one piece that's just like sent from the heavens up above because this was a bin that like had been looked through multiple times too which was like made it even better that it was an item that multiple people like passed on and then I found it so I'm sure a Taylor Swift fan will get this and freaking love it it's really cute and it's great quality it's like a chunky knit sweater great details on it and um big fan of the chunky buttons too these big buttons so Keep you guys posted how much this sells for but by far this was the best find of my thrift trip and i am like over the moon excited to resell this all right and then we're just moving on to something so much less exciting but good stuff nonetheless i got these american eagle black skinny jeans they're a size 16 uh regular so it's a great size to resell i think everyone can use a good pair of like a stretch denim black skinny jeans so i think these will sell pretty quickly then I got this I've actually never bought Old Navy to resell but since this was a Mario Kart item I felt the need to get it and it's just this gray short sleeve shirt it says all Old Navy collectibles or collectibilities I don't know I don't think it's like a super vintage one or anything but Mario Kart is so iconic that I thought even though it's Old Navy this will probably resell then I got this pair of men's Levi's. They're kind of a blue, I guess, cargo pant size 29.32, and they're the Levi's 508. This is like a classic style, and I think um, Levi's tend to do really well normally when I resell them, so these should be no different. These would be like good work pants or something. Next is this mini Bowden pullover sweatshirt. It's a kid's size three to four Y, which is that three to four years or three to four youth? I think three to four, whatever it is. Three to four youth, three to four years. Um, pullover sweatshirt, really cute with this bird on it. And it's got this um, like orange polka dot detailing on the hood and on that front, po front pouch pocket. Really pretty, like vibrant colors. Great condition. Mini Bowden is such a cute brand. I've sold it one other time before and it flipped really quickly for a good amount for a kid's item. So this is a brand that I definitely would be on the lookout for. And with fall coming up, or I guess, yeah, fall is quickly approaching. Pumpkin is in the air <laughs> and in the aisles at the grocery store. So got these pumpkin kids leggings. They're from a brand called Charlie's Project and they are a kid's size six to 10. Like a nice harvesty 
uh, theme, I guess, harvest print. Then I got these women's snow pants in this really pretty fuchsia color. And they're just a really classic snow pant with a zipper um, at the hem there, side pockets. And uh, obviously we are approaching snow season, so I'm sure these will sell relatively quickly. And the brand is Arctics, size small. Then another mini Bowden item. I think this is like the cutest girl's skirt. It's got this ruffled hem, this pink kind of a cottage core print, um, and this like velvet bow at the front. Really, really cute. And again, Mini Bowden is just a great brand to resell. I know consignment stores really like selling, if they take kids clothes, they like Mini, mini Bowden. Then I got this Zara cardigan, and cardigans just seem to be the theme of this thrift haul. I think I have a couple more in there that I haven't even shown you yet. But this is a really nice soft one with that newer Zara tag. I guess kind of an animal print leopard print extremely cozy perfect for fall size medium it's definitely cardigan season that we know for sure so i don't know about for you guys but poshmark has been dead for me these last couple days i made like a couple sales here and there but this last week poshmark has been so dead i recently started selling on mercari and i've made at least like four sales over there within the last few days so it's nice to kind of spread out and sell on multiple platforms because sometimes like you're you'll be selling a ton on one and then all of a sudden like you're barely selling so I do think it's nice to like have the option of being on like multiple platforms I'm really happy to be over on Mercari now things are selling pretty well over there and it could just be because I like just cross-listed a lot of stuff over there at once but the fact that things started selling right when I started cross-listing over there is a good sign so I'm a fan of Mercari so far all right next is this BDG another card again Kind of this rust orange color cardigan. Really nice knit material with these front pockets. And no buttons on these, I don't think. So it's just kind of an open face cardigan, which is a great keyword for a cardigan like this. If you are inputting that in your title, someone were to look that up. Um, just means like the kind that don't have the buttons. It just kind of stays open like the one I'm wearing right now. So this is um, from BDG by Urban Outfitters and it's a size medium long sleeve or maybe it's a three-quarter sleeve maybe yeah I think it's a three-quarter sleeve and then I got this Hannah Anderson pajama set which is so adorable it's these Christmas it's like a Christmas theme with these little dogs with antlers and I was lucky enough to find the top and the bottoms in the bin so I grabbed both because obviously I can sell it for more if it's in a set and Hannah Anderson is another one of those uh, premium children's brands. The little one will look so cute in these. It's a size 18 to 24 months. Sometimes these sit for a little while on Poshmark, but I'm going to try to cross list these like kids premium brands over to Mercari and see how they do. Maybe even eBay too. And then consignment stores, I believe like this brand a lot too, Hannah Anderson. Then I got this Delta 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 crew neck sweatshirt. Thought this would be really perfect for a college student in this sorority. Really nicer thick material and it's kind of that washed blue color. Size small so definitely an oversized fit. Yeah I'm sure a sorority girl will really love this. Were you guys in a sorority in college? <laughs> Tell me if you were in a sorority in college or if you're in college if you're in a sorority. I was not. I went to like a urban school so there wasn't really like big it wasn't like what's that called even greek life like i think there was one sorority in frat but it was like not like your normal kind all right and then i got this madewell short sleeve shirt that ties in the front there really really cute cream color and then it unbuttons right here um if you wanted to wear like a tank top under this and keep it open like that love selling madewell i say it pretty much every video but it's a major bread and butter brand for me so I pretty much always pick up Madewell as long as it's in good condition and the newest tag in particular. They just seem to do really well and people love Madewell. And the comps on these when I was looking them up for the sold comps were around $40. So this is obviously a style that people really like and it's in great condition, especially for being a white 
um, or like a lighter color. I always check the underarm area on shirts like these or on um, items that are white or cream colored. Um, I've had to learn the hard way that sometimes they have stains on the armpits. So especially for lighter clothes, I definitely recommend just making sure it's like very clean and in good condition before picking it up. It's a lot harder to sell when there's like armpit stains. Then I got this Leith cardigan and Leith is a brand sold at Anthropology. It's another cardigan and this one has buttons on it. Same like a kind of a rust burgundy color. Super cute. A little bit of an oversized fit. Um, size medium. This brand doesn't go for a ton. Probably put it up there for around $30, maybe $25 even. But from the only other time I sold this brand, it did flip pretty quickly. So do love a quick flip. Then I got another Madewell top. And this is a pink ribbed long sleeve sweater with this really cute ruffled shoulder size large. The nice thing about Madewell too is they put the style number on their tag which makes it really easy to look up the item um, like on Google or whatever and just get either a stock photo or just an item description. It helps like listing go way quicker if you can find the actual like listing originally on the website. So that's one thing I love about selling Madewell is aside from the fact that it flips relatively quick quickly for a good amount it's pretty easy to like find all the details about the item and a stock photo so that is something I really love. All right and then lastly I got this Brandy Melville cardigan really cute light pink color and these are those ones that are like super on trend right now where they're smaller they kind of fit really like tight and form fitting and Brandy Melville it's a one size fits all but really it's like an extra small or a small. I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. If you made it to the end of this video tell me in the comments what your favorite pumpkin fall item is whether that's like food, drink, beer, whatever. Let me know down in the comments if you made it this far and if you did thank you so much. I appreciate you watching the whole video and I think that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video.